I hate it when somebody points out my character flaws. I don't know why they bother. I hate it even more when multiple people point out my character flaws. Now it's not just someone's opinionated attack. There's mounting data that I could, in fact, possess the aforementioned flaw. What can these critique flaws look like? You're fat. You're a bully. You always have to be perfect. Can't you ever just pull the trigger? Why do you always talk over me? You always have to be right. Your bow tie intimidates me. Wow, that list can go on and on and on. We're familiar with it. Well, that's just their opinion. But it's also their reality about me. If I can even hear these criticisms, then how can I use this information to make my life better? I can tell them to stick it where the sun doesn't shine. That feels good. I can be proud and just let it roll off my back. I, I learned once that sticks and stones can break my bones, but names can never hurt me. That's a good schoolyard tactic. I can interpret it as bullying and go tell the teacher, or let it roll off my back because I'm a grown-up now and I'm no longer on the playground. Or I can look at the data as a tool to possibly improve how I am perceived by others. Why do I care? Well, maybe I don't. Maybe I'm okay with being overbearing and I've decided that that serves me well. Or maybe my passivity is just too comfortable to me to let go of. But if I do care, what can I do about it? Now I have the experience of meeting this issue head on several times in my life. The trait that's being touted as my character flaw usually lies smack dab square in the center of my comfort zone. So by definition, it's a no or judge a rule learned over my lifetime. I possessed it for a long time. Like anything else I might want to change in my life, it requires a decision. The data says I indeed do blah blah blah. And a lot of the people who I'm close with and who probably care about me have taken the time to shove a mirror in my face to help me see that. By seeing it as data rather than a personal attack, I create an opportunity to modify it. If I can connect getting rid of the flaw or at least turning the volume down on the flaw to this relationship improving, do I want that improvement? Notice the difference in response depending on how I sense the critique. On one hand, I can be offended and work myself up to defending myself from my knower judger, or react negatively by feeling beat up and set upon as most will when being judged, again from my knower judger. Or I can see the offer as data and want to learn from it, from my learner researcher. The choice you see is mine. The decision is mine. So who's been showing you your character flaws lately? How have you reacted? Maybe thinking of it as data instead of a personal attack has some value. Know or judge a rule. None of us are perfect. And I'm keeping the bow tie. It's Kim, and this is another Moment of Clarity.